We're now going to make the baffles and lamp holder for the, uh, for the moth trap. The dimensions that you need are all given in the, the book. And what I suggest is that you actually make up some cardboard templates uh, because it's easier drawing around the outline of the templates to transfer the dimensions to the, uh, the PETG sheet. So here's some templates I made up earlier. And what I'm going to do is first of all, draw round the edge of these templates and so it's best to take your time doing this and the little slots here these will be the lamp holder and the little end of each line we always end with a little hole so it's worth doing a little circle at the end of the slot and then continue going round And finally, this slot. Notice once again at the end of the slot, I did a little circle because we punch a hole there. So that's now that drawn. And finally, the lamp holder. And that's that. Now the fun bit of cutting these slots out. So let's cut all of this out. here and just grab my little hole punch and I'm going to punch a hole at the end of that slot and now I'm aiming to make this slot about two millimeters wide if it's too narrow the baffles won't sit neatly together so that's my first baffle there now to cut this up now these angular holes are for the lamp holder the reason why they're at an angle is that if you do them straight uh, that perpendicular to the edge the lamp holder won't lock in to position. What we want to do is have a lamp holder that just locks in to position in the moth trap. And then finally, do our final little cuts again. We're aiming at two millimeter slots. Okay, there we go. We've now got these and a quick test. I can't pick it up. Stuck to the table. There you are. Quick tech check, and that's our set of baffles. Now we need to cut out the lamp holder. Okay, and we punch the holes again at the end of the slots. Okay, and just to test, that will go in there. That finally leaves that hole to cut and the lamp to go through. Now there's a couple of ways in which we can make that hole. One is to nibble a hole out with a hole punch. Another is to use a tool like this, a screw hole punch. And the final, and uh, I think the most fun method, is to use a full punch. Line this up, use a lump hammer, be very careful. And we have a perfect hole for our lamp holder.